Lord Varys, steward of Winterfell, was very unpopular in the north. When the eunuch's position was confirmed by Southron King Renly, there was an outcry in the north. A rebellious band of Lord's levies, hill clansmen and volunteers coalesced around Varys' most vocal opponent, the old but loud and often drunk Morse Umber, castellan of his nephew Great John Umber, Lord of Last Hearth. Coarse, hard and rough-hewn, Morse famously bit off the head of a crow that picked out his eye, earning him the nickname Crow Food. As the opposite of the soft-spoken, deceitful and subtle Lord Varys, when Moore's Crowfoot Umber traveled around the north to gather forces for a rebel army, many wished to follow this strong northerner against the perfumed eunuch in Winterfell. As the festivities around Renly's coronation died down, Moore's made his move, declaring himself King in the North and laying siege to Winterfell with a force of over 20,000 strong. However, while Morse enjoyed the popular support of the common folk, most lords stayed loyal to Renly's appointed Lady Paramount, Lyasa Flint. Knowing that Lord Varys was a eunuch and thus would not father a dynasty, they were content to wait out his death rather than fight another rebellion, especially considering that the last rebellion had nearly wiped out all of House Stark. When the Loyalist army approached from the south, commanded by Brynden the Blackfish Tully, Crowfoot Umber was forced to break off the siege of Winterfell. Foolishly splitting up his army, Umber was defeated in two swift battles at High Point and, more famously, at the Dreadfort, where Moore's Crowfoot Umber, 75 years of age but with a lot of fight left in him, was killed in a duel by the Blackfish, himself a sprightly 60. The duel of the old men was made fun of in many comedy troops in the years after the first Umber Rebellion. The North pacified for the time being, Renly considered that a king who could not protect his people from reaving was no true king, and decided to deal with the Ironborn raiding his west coast once and for all. The second Greyjoy rebellion had been more successful than the first, with Balon Greyjoy having ruled as Iron King for nearly four years, and Balon was not going to go down without playing a final trick. While the armies of Lord Edric Shield laid siege to Balon's capital, Pike, the Iron King sailed the entirety of the Iron Fleet around the continent, famously laying siege to King's Landing itself in a bid to capture King Renly and loot the capital. Like most of Balon Greyjoy's life, the act was bold, brazen, but ultimately foolish. A Tyrell army from the Reach, which had numbered the Ironborn 3 to 1, arrived in the capital and destroyed the Ironborn forces before they could get to their ships. Lord Balon himself did manage to escape, but was captured in a naval battle off the coast of Old Town, and forced to once again bend the knee to a Baratheon. In the north, John Umber, called Great John due to his immense physical size, took advantage of the distraction to avenge his uncle Morse, proclaiming himself Morse's rightful heir as king in the north, and declaring war against Lady Paramount Lyessa Flint, this time supported not just by the small folk, but by the Karstarks of Carhold and the Boltons of the Dreadfort. The Second Umber Rebellion raged, while reports arrived from the Wall that Man's Raiders' wildling army had been melting away, and wildling refugees had been spotted at Hardhome with the fear of death in their eyes, trying desperately to move south. It appeared that something else had awoken beyond the Wall, something other than Snarks and Grumpkins. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGO Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, King Ranley, the first of his name, protector of the realm and all that, the beautiful of the Iron Throne, yes. If you watched uh, my little recap uh, just before I started uh, talking, you uh, you will know that uh, we last episode we defeated Balon Greyjoy. I was hoping we would execute him immediately, but I guess that's not the case, so we have to do it unofficially. <laughs> Uh, in the north, we fought uh, Moore's Crowfoot Umber, and right now uh, the John Umber is uh, is attacking uh, Lady uh, Lyasa Flint. He is joined by uh, by Lord Roose the Bru Roose Bolton of the Dreadfort, and also 
uh, Lord Rickard uh, Car Stark of Car Holt, although I guess he is fighting a separate war of his own. All right. Well, uh, good luck with that, Lady Leia. So apparently we cannot we cannot join you, uh, but you know that's fine. I think Randy is sick of uh, fighting in the north. Frankly, uh, with an idle council member, Lord Pete. Peter Littlefinger. Um, we can have him build a spy network in the Iron Islands, actually. <laughs> Let's do that. Littlefinger will probably find some way to uh, to kill uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Balon Greyjoy. Brendan Blackfish has declared River Le Riverman. Oh, Lady Les of the North has inherited Lordship of Moat Kaelin from John Small John. All right. Okay, that's over here, I guess. Yeah. Small John. Okay, so is his dad Grey John or his dad? What happens to the war then? Is that still ongoing? Um, attacking Lady Lessa for of the North for in Last Hearts claim for Arnolf's claim on North. Okay, for Arnolf Karstark, I suppose. That is the war that's currently going on. Yeah, I, I made the, the recap before I checked all that, so I don't know if it's uh, if it's uh, properly explained there, but it doesn't doesn't matter. It's about the story, right? Because um, as we all know, what unites people <laughs> is uh, stories. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I'm already referencing season eight. We are three minutes in the in the video. Um yeah, you are fighting this one, this this one, yeah, okay. This is the the claim for Arnold Karstark's uh, claim on the north, alright. Okay. Uh we would prefer to help you, but uh, I guess Lord Brynden also <laughs> has uh, has attacked you. He is fighting the De Jura War over Fieldstone, which I guess he holds. I don't know where Fieldstone is. Oh that's over here, that's down here. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. That's uh, that's yours to take, uh, my good my good man, Brynden, my loyal ally, my servant. You can uh, go right ahead and take that. Yes, and last episode in the north, we noticed something, something quite worrying. The White Walker of Winter is fighting the uh, the wildlings. Uh, I write on behalf of the Iron Mac of Bravos to express the consternation of the actions of your brother, says Brett. They have failed to pay, pay the due interest on the loan, and I urge you to take appropriate action. I'm not going to pay for it. I shall issue a reprimand. Yeah, we can issue a reprimand to Stannis, right? <laughs> he will hate that. But he hates us already. And I see we can we can imprison him, actually. It makes sense. I mean, I don't know why the game wouldn't let me uh, judge him. I think he sh it shoots because he's a traitor, right? To my cause. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I guess we can imprison him. We can send him to the wall, maybe. Oh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> okay. Revolt against the rule of Randy the Beautiful has ended inconclusively. Okay, sort of futility in resisting. And surrendered himself to your custody. All right. Okay. We can call him to trial. Oh, banish to the Night's Watch. Visit Chambers. Gross. <laughs> can we seize an artifact from him? Lightbringer? No, I guess not. Sanders will send you to the wall. They're going to need you up there. Because uh, they're fighting the others, and you are the Lord of Light's chosen uh, chosen one. Yeah, chosen by Rilor. He's resurrected, apparently. He's burned. He's, he, he's actually a perfect guy to send to the wall. I think he would do much good there. He's not happy about it, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. Does Shireen uh, like us? Okay, she likes us just fine. Uh, title claimant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Shireen. Uh, welcome under my uh, under my uh, my care. Uh, I'm having an inordinately hard time pursuing my amorous interest. Oh yeah, we were pursuing, we were pursuing the, uh, <laughs> we were trying to seduce Lord uh, Lord Littlefinger. Now let's give up. He's in the Iron Islands, right? Let's wait for that. Okay, we just quickly banished uh, banished Stannis, put Shireen on the, uh, the throne of Dragonstone. I I think it's a smart move. I think uh, uh, Stannis would never have, uh, have forgiven us. He's too stubborn for that. Uh, okay, I can pay the, the interest on behalf of my niece, sure. Yeah. There you go. Edric Storm revoked the High Lordship of Castle Rock from Jamie the Kingslayer. Okay, I guess he still helped that. I know that uh, the county of Castle Rock was uh, was uh, was under, uh, under, Ed under Edric already. But I guess not the High Lordship, uh, high, high Lordship yet. Is your castle being rebuilt, uh, my man? Nope. <laughs> still destroyed, huh? Who died? Oh, Tyrion Lannister died from too much drinking at age 32. Wow, okay. <laughs> he held ice, apparently. Oh yeah, we, we sent him to the wall. Okay, I guess he drank himself to death. 
on the uh, on the wall. <laughs> well, what a, what a way to go for for poor old Tyrion. But you know, shouldn't have revolted against me. You're still also young. Eh? Tyrion is only 32. Renly is only he's not even 30. He's, in, he's only 28. I think at 8305, I think the the book series starts in 297. So uh, yeah, that's 8297. Uh, and then we are now about uh, about eight years in. And the, the events of the last book take place in 8303 or something like that. So we're really not that far from the book timeline at the moment. But Jamie Lannister has inherited uh, ice, the, sh the, 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 the sword of ice. Great. Good for him. It was sent to him from the wall. Executed kinsman. Did I? Wiped out my family. Did, did I? Did I really? Ah, I guess I... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I kind of did, I guess. <laughs> I killed Joffrey. Well, screw you. He deserved it. Lord Dunstan Bonehand has declared Ironborn Civil War for elective monarchy. Alright, I don't care. Lord Balon will be dead soon anyway. <laughs> Anything? Uh, any anyone else who wants to join me? This guy? Here you go. Okay, let's not spend too much money. You peasants, what are you doing, man? Uh, I write on behalf of uh, uh, Lord Paramount Maester. Well, has failed to pay interest on the loan. We're gonna pay. Uh, we're gonna pay May soon anyway, right? In uh, four years or so. I guess I should pay the interest. You know, it's it's the right thing to do, right? Because we 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 own money to Mace. quite a quite a significant significant amount actually. Yeah, let's do it. We can miss the money at the moment. Let's pay the interest for uh, Mace the Ace, our friend. Ha! My co-conspirator Quentin has hired someone to saw through the supports of the railing on the balcony. Lord Paramount Balon the Second is known to frequent. Someone may soon take a bit of a tumble. That's actually pretty close to how Balon dies in the in the book, I think. Isn't he pushed off uh, of the railing of uh, of Pike by uh, Euron? Euron Greyjoy. I don't know where he is, by the way. Is he still around? Roderick Greyjoy. Euron Crozer. Yeah, he's still around. Where is he then? Where are you, my man? Lord of the Iron Islands, General of Pentos. He's in uh, in Pentos to scheme. Okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, look out below, uh, Balon. Wonder what will happen. Come on. Oh, how do I? How do I want to train uh, Lord Paramount Robert? Mm. What is Renly good at? He's a pretty good diplomat, right? I think we will train Robert ourselves. So should we? Should we give him a martial education? That's also, I think, pretty nice. Loan taken, lack of funds. How long will this Realman rest take? 8207. Okay, only two years. He will be groomed for command. We can, uh, we can, we can, I guess, have Brynden the Blackfish train him. He's pretty great, right? Yeah, let's do that. I hope we, I, hope we, I don't know if we can do that, actually. We say, uh, assign guardian. Peter, we can do Peter. Brynden, yeah, okay, let's do that. Assign guardian, uh, Brynden, Brynden Lord Paramount. Yes. Let's wait for that first. And then we'll say... Oh, no, actually, we'll say he will be groomed for command. We'll spend highly to give him the finest equipment possible. Ooh, that's, that's very expensive. Oh, well. I guess it's worth it. He's my only heir, right? Should treat him well. Uh, sure, there's some random guy. Oh, my lover. <laughs> Bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning... Concerning Loris's sexual preferences, I'm, I'm well aware, uh, <laughs> Roger. Loris is literally my lover, so <laughs> I'll keep this to myself. All right, Brendan, you want to uh, educate my boy? Yeah, okay, great. Gravity can be a cruel mistress. It's a tragic accident as far as anyone is concerned. Okay, we killed Balon Greyjoy. Will, will Theon now in inherit? I guess so, right? Yeah, Theon. Okay, that's, that's fantastic, because Theon is... Matulinially married to Shireen, and Shireen is a Baratheon. So, if everything goes well, the the next uh, next sort of Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands will be a Baratheon. My Coco Spirit was assembled the party. Now he's already dead. <laughs> you don't have to ambush him anymore. I guess the others are already <laughs> in the south. He he was uh, was raised from the dead already. All right, the Petri Revolt defeated. How is the the war in the north going? Mm, not great, it seems. To uh, for my uh, my my loyalist here, fifty six percent. Lord uh, Lord Rickard Karstark might win. Uh, Small John, he might win. 
and then uh, probably Brendan Blackfish will also win, because uh, there's no way, you know, he will. He just has to hold this uh, this land for a while, and he will get ticking war score. Oh, Yunkai liberation default has declared liberation of Yunkai on Quintana Stormborn. Okay, interesting. See what uh, if if that will work. Probably not, because uh, Daenerys has dragons. He's already losing a lot of forces. We can still do much good. Great. Uh, she had a more peasant revolt, has declared a peasant revolt on Lady Lyasa. And Lyasa is really struggling to keep uh, keep the north in one piece. She's fighting four wars at the moment. Against the Riverlands, two against her vessels, and now a peasant revolt. I wonder what will happen. What about the White Walkers? They seem to be they seem to be losing the war, because they were they were at 74% or something earlier. Right now they're only at uh, at twenty percent. So maybe Mance is actually beating the, the White Walkers. That would be insane. Mans Ridder. Oh, your Mans Ridder. Nah, Randy doesn't really care about that kind of thing, I don't think. He, uh, he's content uh, living in uh, warm, sunny King's Landing. He's a summer child through and through, huh? Eh? Uh, Shireen, do, do we have any land from you? Yeah, uh, once control of the Lordship of Sweetport Sound. We can do that. Uh, transfer vassalage. There you go. That's completely fine, Shireen. Can we... Uh, oh, you're pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> we cannot appoint you to our council, I suppose. Uh, we can hold a tourney. No, no, let's, we, have, we, have to, we have to make some money. We have to pay off Mace in a couple of years. My wife Marjorie is pregnant. Oh, fantastic. Took a while. <laughs> we, uh, Robert is already five years old. We still have no second, second kid. Really need to have a second kid. Can we switch to family focus? Not yet. 83 or 9. Okay, that's still a while off. My acquaintance, Craigan Karstark, died under suspicious circumstances. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I think he, he was killed by someone who is loyal to me, I, I think. Cause, uh, oh, hey. Uh, Lady Paramount Lyessa was killed by Craigan Karstark. Okay, okay, all right. Suspected Kinslayer. So Rick, uh, uh, Craig and Karstark uh, attacked uh, my my loyalist, uh, the, the Lady Lyessa Flint of uh, of the uh, Widow's Watch, and the Lord Lady Paramount of the North. She he, he, she was completely mutilated by him. <laughs> it seems like probably she was uh, imprisoned and tortured, and then she was killed in personal combat with uh, Craig and Karstark, and then Craig and Karstark afterwards. Died suspiciously. Interesting. So now the Karstark revolt is over. But still the uh, the uh, the peasant revolt is going on. And the uh, the war for Arnulf Karstark's claim on the north. Interesting developments. Okay. Uh, Daenerys won her war. Yeah, I figured. Uh, okay. Uh, Lady Marjorie is improving relations with uh, Lord Paramount Theon. Oh, that's great. Can we not help you out, uh, my man? I don't want you to... Uh, we have to go to uh, to uh, elective war. Yeah, I think you are already winning, so that's uh, that's good. We can seduce you. <laughs> no, Renly is not like that. He only has eyes for Loras. <laughs> that's not really true, is it? Can we uh, seduce like Oberyn Martell? He's like bisexual, right? At least in the show. The Red Viper. Would you like to join me, my man? No, I guess not. Okay, fine. It's your call. My acquaintance was beheaded on the order of Queen Daenerys of Marine. Okay, she's uh, she's winning her revolt. Oh, Lord Clay of Castle Carmen accepted. Lord Ferris is a suspicious peace offer. Okay, I guess he won. He he did. This guy was trying to press a claim for Winterfell, so to remove Ferris, but I guess he didn't succeed. Not a huge surprise, considering Ferris is a pretty wily guy. Is he still fighting any wars? No, it's just the uh, the three northern wars. Let us hope so. Yep. I'm uh, I'm surprised that the White Walkers seem to be uh, okay. No, I I think they're winning again. <laughs> they're uh, they're they've increased again. My wife Marjorie asked me to buy her some new clothes because of the pregnancy. She has outgrown most of her wardrobe and now feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. Very well, summon the tailor. Ah, uh, my dear, you do not need need new clothes. You're already wonderful. That's true though. I mean, Natalie Dormer, she's pretty attractive. <laughs> I didn't really. I never really liked her at first when I watched the, watched the show for the first time, but she kind of grew on me. I uh, she she's she's a pretty clever girl, you know. She 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 uses 
the, the uh, uh, a particular set of skills that most of the men in the show don't have I'm sort of uh yeah sort of uh using our seduction skills very strategically he's very good at that kind of thing uh we need a new maester all right the grand maester uh, eric they have selected for me all right that's uh that's fine he looks pretty good eric 44 only so Pycelle finally died huh? age 89 <laughs> I was by any good? No, not really. <laughs> but this guy is Eric. All right, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's let's hope he serves as well. Indeed, uh, we should have uh, a Brendan. Is he is he a good fighter? A skilled fighter only. Okay, all right. We finally have a few years of uh, relative peace. Edric Edric Shield wants to marry Tizana Frey. Uh, I didn't, didn't know she was at my court, but that's fine, I suppose. Oh, he's, she's the daughter of uh, my master of coin. That's fine, uh, Edric. That's completely acceptable. And so some interesting marriages in my family. Uh, we have Stannis at the wall, Shireen as a lady of Dragonstone. We have Edric, Shield. Then we have now Robert, who is uh, being trained by Brendan Tully, the Blackfish. Oh, John died in the dungeons of. Uh, of Lord uh, the Roos the Third of the Dreadfort, and he was, he became a lunatic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> he was probably flayed. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, one of you, yeah, uh, uh, one of my commenters suggested, yeah, God Emperor of Mankind again. I think he suggested we play as uh, Roos Bolton next, and I think uh, I think that's fun. Kind of depends on how long this. Uh, hey, I was removed from your inventory. What happened? What happened to Ice? Did he uh, reforge it or something? Can we can we look that up? Yeah, I think that's fun. Uh, that's a fun idea. It kind of depends on how long this series is going to take. Because uh, this is not really a CK2 Game of Thrones uh, channel. Uh, although I do like playing this mod. Uh, I also played uh, like after the end and just uh, vanilla CK2. Uh, so uh, so I, I, I'm not sure if I will do immediately another... Uh, another... Uh, Play through of CK2 mod, but if, if this is a short series, if it's only like 10 or 15 episodes, I might do that. Uh, we're looking for ice. Who has ice? It's a bit uh, bit annoying because it's a pretty uh, common name. It's Alicent, Alicent, Alicent. Beatrice, Beatrice, Beatrice. Uh, Isle of Lice. This guy, I guess, Burton. Burton Lannister. Does he have ice? Yeah. Yeah, Burton Lannister. Wow. What a name. I guess, oh, I guess Jamie just gave it to his son. A son, Burton. All right. Good going, uh, Jamie. I didn't know you had a son. We have multiple sons, actually. Oh, Tom and yeah, of course. <laughs> Tom and Marcella are your, 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 your kids as well. Yeah, we, have, we all enjoy a few years of peace, I think. My wife, wife doesn't seem very content at the moment. She wants more clothes, better shoots, and fine dresses. Man, Marjorie, you are pretty uh, pretty high maintenance, eh? Uh, makes sense, I guess. Uh, sure. Sure. She must have a, a massive amount of fertility by now because I, I think we had that that event like like three or four times. So there's like thirty percent extra fertility. Iliana uh, is born. Okay, this is my my daughter. Okay, she's attractive. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm attractive, right? And Marjorie is also attractive, so it makes sense that our, our daughter is attractive. Okay, what what are we gonna call her? Iliana. We could call her uh, Liana. That would be pretty fitting, I think. Liana is the the uh, the dot the uh, the, the sibling of uh, the, the, the sibling the, the the sister of Ned Stark and the the lover of uh, of King Robert and what kicked off the whole Robert's rebellion so she is kind of the reason why the Baratheons are in charge anyway uh, so I, I think that would be fun yeah let's make uh, let's call her Lyanna she's also attractive and Lyanna was yeah it, it's kind of doubtful whether whether she was really that attractive or just sort of wild. Uh, some characters say uh, she was kind of tomboyish, others say she was very, very attractive. So it kind of depends, I guess, what, uh, what point of view you uh, you have. Uh, Your Grace, yada yada yada, Lady Anya Wainwood. Yeah, I'll placate him with smooth words. Uh, another one, Clement Piper. Piper, hmm. 15 gold? Yeah, we can do that. Piper is the uh, the loyalist family of the Riverlands, so we will, we will help them out. We can pay them some money, that's fine. Lord Robin of Broken Branch has usurped the Lordship of Hornwood from Donella Manley. Alright. Okay. 
Robin Flint is no longer a participant in some kind of war. As his leash, Arnold Skarstark joined the war as a defender. Okay. Lord Paramount, Arnold the Usurper has usurped the title Kingdom of the North from Lord Robin of the Broken Branch. Oh, this is Robin Flint. Right, 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 right. Okay. All right. So, Lord Paramount Arnolf usurped the title as Lord Paramount of the North. Arnolf Karstark. Does Renly care? Uh, what, what, what kind of land does he hold? Lordship of Widow's Watch. Nothing in, um, in, in the car holds, I guess. That's strange. Who, uh, wh wh which, which Karstark are you then? Where is, uh, is the actual Lord of Kau? That's your, your nephew, I guess. But it's another geezer, another 74-year-old guy who <laughs> usurped the, uh, the Kingdom of the North. Uh, his, his heir is Benjen Karstark, alright. Where is he then? Should be this guy, right? Arthur of the North. John Karstark, Rickon Karstark. Oh, here he is. Okay, oh, that's, uh, that's primary danger. Right, right, right. Okay. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I don't really like like it, but, you know, I, I don't think Renly is kind of in a position... Yeah, he's in a position to do something about it, but does he really care enough to fight another war for this? I don't think so. As long as this guy swears fealty to me, I think I, I will be fine. Homosexual, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lord Paramount Arnold the Usurper. Uh, I guess it's fine. Can we or, or can we imprison you? No, I guess not. Okay. Uh, are you good at anything? Intrigue? A little bit? Could put you on the council. No, no, no. We have Peter Littlefinger. He's way better. Um, but I guess we should uh, should sway you a little bit. Cause you don't like me that much. All right. So the wars in the north are over. Uh, the Karstark War was ended when the uh, when the, 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 the Lord died. But still, uh, via, via John Umber and uh, Roos Bolton, uh, the claim was pressed for Arnold Karstark. We just hope he is able also to press the claim to Winterfell. Oh yeah, he's, he has a strong claim on it. The High Lordship and the Lordship. Interesting. So he might revoke that from, from Varys. Uh, he wants to marry. He wants to marry Maella. 74 year old to a 28 year old wow gross okay fine <laughs> it's the middle ages right it's not it's 8306 yeah so <laughs> we, had, we had we had like five episodes for three years and now we have done three years mostly of peace in in uh, in half an episode lord robin of the north died in the dungeons of per lord paramount arnold of the north okay yep he was he died in the dungeons yeah okay so the flint family is 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 is, is gone we still have Lord Dennis of Hornwood, a zero-year-old boy. We have Lord Bruce of Flintfinger. He is now the... Oh, he's on the other side. These are also Flints. Okay, okay. I thought it uh, was only here, but it's. I guess there's two two lands they hold. Okay, all right. Interesting. Interesting developments up north. How's the war going with the White Walkers? 10% in favor. Okay, it's a long war, man. Drogon's Dragon Egg. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is she coming over here? Daenerys anytime soon. She's 22. She's still not married. Hmm. <laughs> Does she want to get married to my <laughs> my son Robert? She's more than welcome to. Demand return of artifact. What what can we return? Oh, Daenerys is crying. I don't know. Seduce Daenerys? No, no. Let's make some money so we can pay back Mace. Uh, my confessor Celise is such an attractive woman. I've applied my ample charms. I can tell she's thinking of other things than the Lord of Light. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Give her a taste of what she's missing. I do so love teasing the poor woman. Uh, immoral priest. Yeah, we can give her a taste, I guess. <laughs> I think uh, Randy is just toying with her because she's homosexual, right? I, I thought you could uh, you could ask them to, to stop uh, fighting that war. But I guess not. Maybe if we do it like this, this guy. Uh, command to end war, yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Your Grace, I've received word from Heron Hall that a young woman there has made a claim to be Arya Stark. Oh, the daughter of the late Eddard Stark, who was thought to be dead. Interesting. She's a good duelist. She's got a dire wolf, Nymeria. Duelist, rot, proud, brave, honorable, chaste. 
Okay, all right. Praise the maiden. Does she want to come over to my court? She does. Oh, great. Arya, hello. Arya Stark is at my court. Rickon is also still at my court, right? Or is he... Uh, who, who, who's teaching him? Sir Arnold. Okay, wow. <laughs> we should have paid attention to this guy. Rickon the Exile. Where is he? A dire den. Okay. Should get, her, get him over here as well, I, I guess. Don't know why he moved there. Uh, Donald Swan. What kind of education does he have? Steward education, alright. We can have him... Uh, can find a steward for him. Peter Peter, <laughs> Peter Baelish. Uh, or uh, Brendan Tully. Again. Yeah, Brendan Tully, right. I don't know. I kind of want him to be trained by uh, Brendan Tully. So let's, let's do that. What about Arya Stark? Where is she? Here she is. Okay. Arya, I immediately thought of marrying you off to my son. Robert. Who is seven. So he will be... Uh, when he is uh, 16... That's in nine years, so then Aya will be 20-something. 20 27 or something? Hmm, it's, it's a bit of an age difference there. Do I want to marry her uh, off to someone else? Hedwig Storm would, would have been a good choice, but he's already married, I think. Yeah, married to uh, Lady Paramount Tizan of the Westerlands. Okay, what about uh, Robert? Robert Aaron? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I also kind of want to want her to inherit the north. Is there someone here? Up here? One of the Karstarks, maybe? Benjamin Karstark is 25. Um, do you want to come over to my court, my man? No, I guess not. Do you want to get married to Arya Stark, my Zwilly Neely? Arya Stark is unimportant. No, she isn't. Um, Benjamin Karstark. Uh, we, we can keep her around also for a while, right? We can, we can even appoint her my King's Guard if we, if we wanted to. 55, okay. No, it's not that great of a combat skill. We can try. Oh, no, we cannot do it. Okay. Grant a knighthood. Okay, l l let's think about it. Let's keep her around in my court for a while. See what she wants to do. Uh, I accept the guardianship between Brynden and Rickon. Great. So we have Rickon and... Uh, and uh, Oh, Robert is no longer here. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Sir Parman the Purple. Okay, well, we, we will find someone in my court. I guess uh, we cannot do it with Brynden. We can have Loris Tyrell do it. Yeah, why not? Um, Lord pa pa Parman, Brynden and uh, Lord Rickon. Okay, fine. Yep. Uh, we can also replace uh, Brendan Blackfish with uh, with Loris, because Loris is a formidable fighter. And there's an option here. Train children. Child's combat prowess improves. Okay, we can have... I guess we can have Brendan do that as well. That's fine. He's not a formidable fighter, but he's still a good fighter. He's not as good as... Uh, as uh, oh, hey, this is uh, Davos the Onion Knight. Great, he's still alive. He's not as good as... Uh, as, as Loris, but, uh, but still. Uh, today I was approached by my brother Stannis. <laughs> Apparently he is concerned about my health and thinks that I'm becoming too frail and thin. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Stannis. Crushed religious revolt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think uh, if he is chosen, he will also not age. So I think Stannis will be around for a long time. Really the motivation that I needed to get back in shape. It was hard to adjust myself to a different diet at first, but now I'm feeling much better. All right. The Night's Watch. Night gathers. Jor the old bear is still here. Jor, Jor Mormont. Lyanna is often involved in fights with toddlers. Try to steer her energy elsewhere. Discipline her. Yeah, I'll try to steer her energy elsewhere. Cynical. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I can hold the tourney. Let's let's wait with that. Arrange marriage between I Arya Stark and Benjamin the Second of the North. Oh, he's already king of the North. I guess uh, the, the previous king already died. That's fine, I guess. He can marry Arya Stark, sure. <laughs> Arya is now Queen of the North again. Only she knows she doesn't hold Winterfell. This guy has a claim on the High Lordship, though. He might revoke that. Varys is getting old. I I would hope she he revokes it, actually. Um, my roots may be so that I would identify more, but the Kingslander people are rule. Oh, uh, yeah. We can become Kingslander, that's fine. I write on the Iron Bank. Uh, Merrick Messi. 
No, no, we're not gonna pay. We captured by Lord Veltris Sunglass of Sweetport Sound. Take the Sweetport Sound as a prisoner. Ooh. I think this is a nice cliffhanger, <laughs> guys, to end it on. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will see if Shireen uh, <laughs> was suddenly being captured, if she survives uh, her capturing. We will try to rescue her. Um, I think I will actually keep playing uh, and do that. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you next episode. Bye-bye.